Aquaman was directed by James Wan and stars Jason Momoa, Amber Heard, Patrick Wilson, Willem Dafoe, Dolph Lundgren, Yahya Abdul-Mateen II, Tamora Morrison and Nicole Kidman. Arthur Curry, played by Jason Momoa, is teaming up with Princess Mira of Atlantis, played by Amber Heard, in search of King Atlan's trident, which could help end Arthur's half-brother, King Orm, played by Patrick Wilson, and his oncoming war against the surface world. It's taken me a while to get this review out, due to the Christmas crunch followed by videos on the best and worst films of 2018 followed again by the best shots of 2018. With all that settled, let's talk about Aquaman, poised at the moment to become the first DCEU film to cross $1 billion worldwide. Like so many films of 2018, good and bad, Aquaman was to me... something. And I have no clear idea what... There is definitely a story, written characters, visuals, production values, costumes, music, camera angles, but if the question is asked of movies, how does it all come together, my answer for this is simply, I do not know. The movie feels like half a James Wan superhero tale as much as it could be, but the other half is just a generic superhero movie filled with the cliches I assumed we were past. Unnecessary narration bookending the movie, intercutting the story with flashbacks of young Arthur Curry, scenes only designed to explain things to the audience and no one else, and many different story elements picked and chosen from the likes of Man of Steel and Thor. We were done with these rights. If the story and writing feels stale, James Wan and his cinematographer Don Burgess, composer Rupert Gregson Williams, and a dedicated team of visual effects artists make sure that you get your money's worth of a visual experience. Every action beat has a camera movement, a composition, a flow of events that are designed to be different, bold, and make this crazy underwater world feel real. Everything there succeeds, and I can easily recommend Aquaman as something you should see in cinemas. Just see it alone for this one moment of an octopus playing drums. I cannot explain it, but it looked pretty cool. There are Atlanteans riding giant underwater creatures into battle. There are other giant underwater creatures fighting against those giant underwater creatures. Just lots of big, weird splashes of stuff that happens and it looks cool. However, if you're looking for narrative cohesion and memorable characters, look elsewhere. Momoa still looks badass as Arthur Curry, Amber Heard and Patrick Wilson give their respective characters some life and humanity, but those characters and many others have nothing to do beyond fight, run, fight again and just gain stuff, losing very little. Whenever you think a moment of genuine humanity can happen, it's all interrupted by yet another big CGI fight which gets really annoying after the fifth or sixth time. Aquaman, for all of its visual wonders and immense dedication to capturing Atlantis right the very first time, feels like the first and second movies in an Aquaman trilogy jammed into one bloated mess of a story. The villains Ocean Master and Black Manta both have compelling fights against Aquaman, but both happening at the same time is exhausting and unnecessary. James Wan and his brilliant creative team have done some great things here. This movie is a minor step forward for the DCEU in terms of bold filmmaking, but Aquaman just doesn't have much else to offer the ever-expanding superhero genre, and I'll say that Aquaman is a C+. C. Duh, it's not doing so well. So Aquaman, have you seen it? What did you think about it? What do you think about this review? Let me know down below if you want more Mr. Movies. Follow the links coming up right now, and thank you for watching. (laughs) 